Knowledge is power. Make an impact by learning more. Call us right now for more help at 866-945-8070. Hey, Seth David here from the world-famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated, bringing to you another special screencast. This time we're talking about the newly reinvented CashflowTool.com. CashflowTool.com has been around for a short while, and they're already making lots of improvements to an already great product. Uh, As of this recording, Finagraph's CashflowTool.com has a reimagined dashboard-type layout. The idea here is that business owners need information they can understand quickly. And this is not about how smart people are. It's about the fact that people are moving at light speed and they need something that makes sense without having to overanalyze. So let's take a look and see what CashflowTool.com looks like. First of all, once you've set up your business, it'll look like this. It'll tell you that it's connected. It's very easy to connect it to QuickBooks Online or a QuickBooks desktop. If you need to add users, and you're gonna see in a few minutes why you're gonna wanna add users. If you're an accountant like me, you're going to wanna add your clients, and let's find out why. It's very easy to do. You just saw me hover over it where you can click to add users. It takes a second. All you need is their name and their email address, and you can add them in. Now, when we first go in, we have the executive summary, and the executive summary has the cards that that typically, and at a high level, we would expect you would want to see. They answer the obvious questions. How much am I making, right? Which you can see here. Profits. uh, How much do I have? Cash on hand. How long will that cash last? Sales. Monthly sales. Year-to-date sales. Um, Now I get to look at um, what do I owe and who owes me, right? The the next, it's really the next evolution. Once I see how much money I'm making, how much cash I have, I want to know whom do I need to call to get you know, to collect money from them. Um, we have any unexpected bills. Does anything stand out? You know, something that doesn't normally show up here. Uh, cashflowtool.com has algorithms that are flagged, that kind of stuff, and let you know, hey, you don't normally get this bill, but this bill showed up, right? And then you have Mike here, who's, they've got videos ready to explain to you what's going on. So this video will explain what this whole executive summary is really all about. But notice that every one of these cards has the explain this button, where you can watch a short video with Mike explaining what's going on here. So I love this as an accountant because if I send this to my client or invite my client in, I know they're not going to be hounding me with questions about, hey, what is this? I don't understand it, right? It's all laid out pretty clearly. Clients will probably do that anyway. But the point is they can get in here and actually get their own answers to a lot of the obvious questions. And specifically, if they're looking at this card and they don't understand what is this really telling me, right, they can click explain this and it should make it pretty clear what's going on. Right. Next, uh, the speed of cash. Now, if you've watched our cashflowshow.com or cashflow show for cashflowtool.com, then you've heard us talk about this. Our first like seven or so episodes kind of led you right up to the point of calculating this. Speed of cash is your cash gap, right? How long does it take you to get a dollar back when you've spent it or you've invested it into something like inventory? So here it will show you if you're short on cash. It tells me here that I'm not short on cash because my working capital is greater than the cash required to close the cash gap. Why? Because I have a zero day cash gap, which means that on average I collect from my customers faster than I pay my vendors. That's why I set up a subscription model because I get paid first. Um, How long will the cash last? We also saw this on the executive summary. You get the idea. Average days of inventory. I don't have inventory, so it doesn't apply. And so on. So this is the the speed of cash, the cards that specifically relate to that. All cards is just that. It's every possible card you could have. Uh, And then you might want to customize your view to show you only the stuff that you really care about. And that's where here I've created my custom dashboard called Seth's Dashboard, right? And so here I can choose the top things I really want to know. And if I want to choose which cards will show up here, I just click right up there and I check off my check boxes, right? And it's all right here. I can see any of the cards. I can choose exactly what I get to see on my custom dashboard, right? Next, we have our cash flow calendar, which was there in the old product or the old version, the last version, but it's now here in a full screen kind of view. And nothing's changed. The same stuff is all here. It's going to show me the starting cash. It's going to show me what it sees as the projected inflows coming in, projected outflows, ending cash. I can add items to customize and do my own cash flow projection right here in the product. I can add cash inflows, add cash outflows, and it's going to tell me where I'm going to be. As you can see, the calendar shows you day by day what you're expecting cash balance will look like, 
right? You can export this to Excel. You can go into settings here and you can customize what the starting cache should be. And you can customize your heat map settings, meaning when do I want to be notified? If I'm notified when my cache goes to zero, that might be too late. I might want to be notified when my balance goes below $10,000. So you can customize all of that here. You can even customize the colors, right? Because some people might want to try finding colors that are closer to what their branding is. You know, who knows? Um, so this is still here, still really cool. And then there's a cash learn prediction table. This part I'm pretty sure is new. I don't remember seeing it in the previous version. But here it's going to show you exactly what's included in cash in. And you can check off or uncheck things. So again, it's another way of being as specific as you'd like to be about what it considers when it's looking at your inflows and what it considers when it's looking at your outflows. So really, really cool stuff. Over here we have our alerts. So this is what used to be the whole product kind of centered around this and it had the other stuff off to the sides. So now this is in its own kind of tab. But same idea, it's gonna give you the alerts, you know, the, the sort of high level information that it looks like you'll probably want to know. You can post messages for the people that you're collaborating in here with and you can set reminders. All was here before, again, just in a different location. And over here you can add documents. So I can attach documents and I can title it, tag it, and that way I can share documents maybe relating to some of the stuff that we're seeing here so I can have the discussions with my colleagues and coworkers, whatever, whoever it may be that I want to be able to discuss this stuff with. So that's your alerts and discussions. Remember, join our Facebook group, right? Don't forget we have the cash flow show with myself, Spreadsheet Seth, and Cashflow Mike. We do it every Tuesday at 4 p.m. Pacific, and it's only 20 minutes. So we spend 20 minutes going into one very narrow topic so that it's easy to understand, easy to follow, easy to digest. And then you come back the following week, and we usually have something the following week that builds on what we discussed the previous week. So this is my partner page at nerdenterprises.com slash partner slash cashflow tool. You can like the Facebook. You can get to the Facebook page directly from here, get to the Facebook group directly from here like the page join the group and tune in with us every tuesday at 4 p.m pacific for the cash flow show uh, that's about it don't forget one other thing really important when you go sign up use coupon code nerd this will let them know that i've sent you and it will give you a discount on your monthly fee as always i hope you learned something here had some fun along the way i hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day and i look forward to seeing you on the web